So friends, let's do a flow routine today. Very simple technique. Uh, we will start with the standing up position and from the standing up position itself, we'll get into a flow. Just do four sides on the right side and four things on the right, left side. Very simple technique. So come to the front of the mat and keep your feet together and take your hands from the side and then bring them up in such a way that your palms are together and your whole body strong and stable like a tall mountain. Breathe in, breathe out. Take five long and deep breath. Good. Now keeping the hands still there, just simply take your right leg behind all the back. So right leg goes about three to four feet apart depending on your height. Keep your right foot about 45 degree angle, left foot about 90 degree, palms together and then drop your left hip down. Just if you need to adjust your right leg back a little bit more so that your left knee and ankle joint in one straight line. Good, that will not hurt your knees. Now keep your right foot strongly grounded, right leg straight, left leg folded. So in the front, the leg, you might be confused with left and right. So the front leg is bent, back leg is straight, palms together and you bring that feeling of a very strong personality inside you. You can just stay here for a couple of mindful breath. Just meditate on your strength. Or if you want, you can just listen to the chanting or chant along with me. There are different mantras that protect our mind and brings more strength. Just gives a flavor to our practice. So inhale. Om Namah Shivaya 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 Bring that feeling, that devotion into the heart, Bhakti Bhav. So come back again, keep your feet a little bit more comfortably positioned. Left foot again 90 degree, right foot 45 degree angle. Relax, inhale, exhale. Take five breaths, relaxing, breathe in, breathe out. Keep observing your body, breathe in, breathe out. Now keeping both the legs straight, we'll go to the second routine of this flow. Take your hands behind your head, interlock your fingers. Keep your elbows stretched out, both the legs are straight. And both the heels are in one straight line, so that you're more balanced. Breathe in. Now as you breathe out, we'll lean forward as much as possible. We'll try to bring the forehead as close as possible to the left knee and we'll stay there for some time. So inhale, as you exhale, lean forward as much as your body allows. You can come back closer, a little bit closer. If you have back pain or any kind of discomfort, you try to put restraint. Don't do everything, just do symbolically. Do it in your mind. So once you get into a final position, take a couple of mindful breath, bring that mindfulness into this context. Your legs are straight, your head is down, more blood circulation happening to the brain. Breathe and breathe out. Sthiram Sukham Asanam, practicing yoga for stability and balance in our life. Now, let's think about our ancestors. Send some positive vibrations, letting them know that we are practicing yoga and feeling good, taking care of our life. Yes. Let's chant this mantra. Now, just listen to it. You don't have to chant. Just listen to it. Inhale. Shri Guru Devadatta. 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 Now slowly, gently prepare yourself to come out from this again. Relax your hands, take a couple of mindful breaths, breathe in, breathe out. Now we'll get into a reverse warrior two position. Just like warrior two and then reverse warrior two. So keep your hands stretched out, shoulder level, drop your left hip, now the front leg is bending just like warrior one, keep your hands stretched out, left foot 90 degree, right foot 45 degree angle, once you're stable enough, inhale lift up your left hand up all the way and keep your right palm sliding down the right thigh towards the right calf, do as much as possible, open it up completely, look at the left palm, you're just like holding a mirror in your left palm and seeing yourself, your true inner self, you're seeing it, yes. You're trying to eliminate all your stress. You're committing yourself to take out all your anger, frustration, jealousy, greed, etc. The Sadaripu, the six enemies of our mind. Now let's invoke the prayer for Goddess Durga, which gives strength and destroys all our evil nature. 
chant along or just listen to the vibrations. Sri Durga Debyai Namaha 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 Nice, come out from this again. If your feet are a little bit more wide, try to make a comfortable position. Relax for a couple of breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. You're doing a flow routine in a standing up positions. Inviting more strength and power to your body. Eliminating all the stress and anxieties. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice. We'll do a Parsa Kunasana, lateral triangle. Keep your left, both your hands stretched out to the shoulder level. The center. Feel the centeredness of your body. Now inhale. As you exhale, extend your left hand as much as possible. Stretch it up. Now drop down your left palm to the inside of your left foot. To the inside of your left foot. And keeping the leg straight. And raise your right hand up. Think like your body is against a wall. And keep that position on. So both the hands are straightened out. And you are standing there. Good. Let me do it this way so that you can watch me a little bit more clearly. Good. Left arm in the back of in the inside of the left foot, right and up. Stay there. Both the legs are straight. Stay there. Let's invoke this prayer for Lord Krishna. We call the Yuk Purush. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 Nice. Slowly come out from this again. You're still doing the one side. Your left foot in the front, right leg on the back. Last practice of this series. Keep your hands stretched out. An extended triangle. So keep your left elbow to the left hip. And keep your right leg a little bit more stretched out, depending on your height. And stretch your right hand over the head. Your right hand and the right leg in one straight line. Left knee and then ankles in one straight line. Look up. Left hand in chin mudra, index and thumb together. And stretch up. You're like extending yourself like a resource to the universe. Being kind, being generous, being health, helpful to others. Extended resource. Good. Stay there. Stay for five breaths. Feeling that extended personality, that infinite consciousness that we all have. Try to feel like all the problems and difficulties in our life are getting out. And we are inviting more success into our life through this chanting. Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha. Lord, gently come out again. Come back to a starting point. Chitli Tadasana technique. Keep your feet about, keep your assistance, hands on your side. Take a couple of mindful breaths. Observe your body. Yes, you're observing your body completely with your closed eyes and you're trying to feel the difference in your right side and the left side. You're engaging into a flow routine. Lot of power, lot of stamina, lot of strength, lot of confidence. Breathe in, breathe out all the doubts. Nice. Again, come back to the starting point. Both the feet strongly grounded. Keep your hands up, palms together. Remember, we did four to five five postures on the right side. Now we'll do the same sequence we on the left side with the same set of chantings. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take five long and deep breath. This itself is called Tadasana. Your body becomes strong and tall like a mountain. Now keeping the right foot strongly grounded, take your left leg back all the way. The opposite leg. Whatever you didn't take, take that one. Don't get confused. Right and left. And the front leg is bending. Back leg is straight. Good. Back foot 45 degree angle. Front foot 90 degree. Take position. Again, the heels and the ankles as much as possible in one straight line. That will not hurt your knee. If your knee is dropping forward beyond the ankles, try to stretch your left a little bit more sideways. Both the heels in one straight line. Take position like a Bhiri Padrasana, Warrior 1. Think about Lord Shiva. 
who represents the consciousness inside us. The Shava is the body, so the body is getting animated with the power of Shiva. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 That means I'm saluting to the divine energy flowing in me. Slowly, gently come out. Keep your hands down. Keep your legs still stretched out. Make little adjustments so you feel more comfortable. Both the knees are straight, both the legs are straight again. Relax for five breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice. Take your hands behind. Interlock your fingers. Keeping both the legs straight. Now inhale. As you exhale, we'll drop the forehead down towards the right knee as much as possible. Listen to your body. Observe your body. Do not overstretch. Stay within a safety limit. Enjoy what you do. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lean forward as much as possible. Whatever your body allows, try to have a positive image of your body. Abhyasya na yoga chittam. That means only with practice you'll get there. Breathe in, breathe out. Have that surrendered mindset. Just like a tree laden with fruits bends down. Likewise, wise people with true knowledge, they also bend down with humility. Connect to us ancestors. Inhale. Shri Guru Deva Datta. 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 Slowly, gently come out from this again. Drop your hands to the side. Relax for a couple of breaths. Keep your legs in the same position again. It's a flow routine. Just a couple of breaths, but not all the way. Relax. Nice. Come out again. Keep your hands stretched out. Trunk remains in the center. Both the hands at the shoulder level. Keep your right foot 40, 90 degree, left foot 45 degree angle inward. So you're more stable. Now inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, few breath. Warrior, reverse warrior two. Remember that reverse warrior two. So in that sequence, keep your right hip down, keep your right palm facing up, and then stretch your right hand and keep your left hand sliding down the left thigh all the way. Good. This is the right sequence. Good. Your front leg is bent, back leg is straight. So this alternating. One time it was straight, other time the legs become bending. Good. Look at the right palm. Build self-confidence, think like all the negativity of your mind is going out, burning out. Let's invoke the power of Goddess Durga to give us the strength to destroy all our evil qualities, past bad memories. Right. Sri Durga Devyai Namaha. Sri Durga Devyai Namaha. Sri Durga Devyai Namaha. Sri Durga Devyai Namaha. Shri Durga Devyai Namaha Shri Durga Devyai Namaha Nice, come back again, keep your hands on your side Relax for a few breaths Just few breaths, legs remain straight Breathe in, breathe out Observe your body Keep your hands stretched out again Hands stretched out, inhale As you exhale, extend your right hand Drop down like a cartwheel Catch hold of your right ankle Or keep your right palm Depends on whatever your body offers You can hold it to the right ankle Firmly Or if your body allows Keep your right palm On the inside of the right foot Left hand shoots up to the sky Look at the left palm Open your body a little bit more to the left Whole body in a single plane Legs remain straight Good, stay there for a few breaths Observe your body Just like you're taking a picture of your whole body you're like a yoga model. We'll post it on Facebook. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Stay there. Let's invoke the consciousness of Lord Krishna here. Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Very slowly, gently, gracefully, mindfully come back, relax, inhale, exhale. We're doing a flow routine. In a flow, 
let's go to the last floor so keep your right elbow to the right hip right thigh left leg stretch out a little bit more and left hand over the head again try to remember knee and the ankles in one straight line right foot 45 90 degrees left foot 45 your leg and hands in one straight line drop your hip down keep your right palm and chin mudra index and thumb together other fingers are straight just like a small gesture that brings more calmness to the mind more confidence to our heart breathe in breathe out extended triangle there are different names and forms don't get caught up on the names and forms try to get the essence the essence is called brahman and the names and forms are called the maya so dropping the names and forms and the maya holding on to the brahman sat chit and ananda bring that feeling of sat chit ananda aham sat chit ananda and the pure existence pure consciousness and pure bliss meditation in motion let's chant this mantra to bring a state where all the obstacles are removed ganpati baba om gam ganapate namaha 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 very slow gently come back again try to bring your feet about keep with distance keep your hands in your side keep your chin down eyes closed take a couple of mindful breath to relax your body and gently bring that feeling of relaxation in the whole body breathe in your whole body is breathing in relaxation breathing out all the stress nice that was the complete of the floor routine that we did understanding of positions breathe in breathe out